Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to do heat maps with Ultralytics. So we're basically going to do optic detection with different types of optic. We're going to use a pre-trained model, and then we're going to visualize the predictions and also create heat maps based on those predictions. So let's not just jump straight into the Ultralytics documentation. If we go inside the guides, they have this new tab for real world projects. We have already been doing like security alarm systems, optic counting regions, and also just optic counting in general. But now we're going to take a look at how we can do heat maps and generate heat maps with Ultralytics based on optic detections with YOLO V8. So here we can see that we can actually just go in and directly create a heat map. This can be used for a ton of different use cases. It can be used in retail stores. It could also just be used in like traffic lights, intersections and so on. So we want to generate a heat map based on the cars, like how many cars are driving in each lane. It could be people moving around in retail stores. And then we can actually go in and do analysis on that just to see like how are people moving. Then we're going to see where are people in our store, how are they moving in the store and also where are the hottest spaces. So here we can basically just see like why choose heat map for data analysis, intuitive data distribution visualization. So we actually just get a distribution of our detection in our frame. We also get efficient pattern detection. So we can take different patterns and so on from our heat maps in transportation, retails and so on that we just mentioned, enhanced spatial analysis and also the decision making based on our heat maps. So that could be, could be individual like lanes on the road, but it could also do retail stores, how people are moving around, where are the hottest shelves. So here we can see transportation and also retail. So here we can see that we have this heat map alpha value, which is basically just a range between zero and one. And that is like how hot is that specific area. So that is just a value between zero and one. So here we have the heat map example directly in the Ultralytics documentation. We both have just the standard heat map. We also can generate heat maps with specific classes. So let's say that we're using a pre-trained model, but it could also be a custom model. Then we can go in and specify the exact classes that we want to generate a heat map for. So let's say that we're just using pre-trained model. Then we can go in and create a heat map for just people moving around. So that will be a zero because this is the Coco data set on the pre-trained models. So we can also do heat maps and save the output at the same time so we can use it for analysis later on. But let's just grab one of these examples here, just jump into code and actually like see some results. So we're gonna just jump straight into our code editor. First of all, from Autolytics, we're going to import YOLO so we can set up the pre-trained YOLO V8 model. We're just going to open up a video capture with a specific video file. This can also be a live stream from your camera or basically like whatever stream. There's a lot of different arguments that you can throw into it. Then we're going to set up an instance of our heat map class. We can set up the different kind of like arguments from the documentation. Then we're going to have a while loop with our video capture. We're going to read in images from our video capture. We throw it through our model tracker. So we're both going to do optic detection and also optic tracking. So we track the optics over time. And by using the tracks over time, we can actually go in and generate these heat maps of our detected classes. Then from our tracking, tracking results here, we can go in and generate the heat map. We throw in the image and we also throw in the results from our optic tracker. Then we just get the frame back here and we can use that for further analysis. We're going to try out two different videos here. So just these people here moving around. And then we also have the car example here. And then we're just going to generate heat maps for these two videos. The only thing that you need to do is specify your model that you want to use and also the video file that you want to process. Again, you can also just do this on a live webcam. So let's go down and just run this script. So heatmap.py and it will just take a second or two. It will download the model automatically if it is not already in your directory. So here we can see that it is processing the frames. So this is basically just the people walking around. So we're detecting all of these people here in the frame, tracking them at the same time, and then we can go in and generate these heat maps. So let's now go in and take the second example here, which is the cars moving around in the lanes. So we're just specifying cars here instead of people. So here we can see the results. Again, the warmer the color, the warmer the region is in the frame. So it is basically just the exact same thing. And this is the range between zero and one that we saw in the documentation. So we'll say that we actually get a red color, then there's a lot of heat in that specific region. So here we can probably see it based on the lanes. So we can see here that we actually get a darker yellow. So that means we have more cars in the second lane here. And now we actually start to get warmer colors here to the left. But you can actually use this for doing analysis in different applications and projects, as we mentioned in the start of this video. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you can use this to do analysis in retail stores, cars, just test it out on yourself. You just need to take the example from the Ultralytics documentation, paste it in for a video for it, even like live webcam, and then you can test it out on your own. I hope you all learned a ton. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.